in the coldest room in the damn house. <coughs> I'm not going to sit down for this video. Dablo, call me. Can't answer the phone all the time when it rings. And when people don't call me back, hey, sometimes I don't call them back automatically. Because normally, you put like this, recently, every time I call a phone number back, it's, yes, I'm glad you've called. You must be the one that was interested in a new work from home program, blah, 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 blah. Well, I wasn't interested in a work from home program. Sorry, I missed your phone call or I couldn't get back at you. Um, this video, I guess I'm going to title it for what? Because, you know, we go to work when we can. We, we feed our family the best we can. We do what we can, you know, for tomorrow. And, shit, fuckers can't even make it till tomorrow. I mean, if it's so bad in this country, and this is supposed to be the freest country on the planet, what are we getting for our freedom? You know, um, what's free? What's freedom? What's free in America? I mean, what was the dream like? I, I missed it. I missed the American dream because I was too busy trying to stay woke. Um, I don't know. I, I don't understand what all this drama is for. Why are we living the way we do when we don't have to live that way? you telling me that these farmers right down the street from me don't want to farm. you you telling me these people who raise cattle don't want their cattle to be healthy you telling me that you know every six months there's some goddamn drama in the stores they're trying to make our food supply scary can you imagine uh, if for instance uh, some of the sugars or these these byproducts that they build what well, one of these byproducts is tainted and 90% of all the um, stuff on the shelves has to be thrown out What's going to happen when that happens? Oh, we use rival flavor number 18 and it's tainted, so we have to just pull all that stuff out with that flavor 18 in it or some shit. You know, that, that syrup they put on everything to keep us juiced up. What about that? I'm just wondering, what for? What is all this bullshit for? You know, why? Why can't we be happy? Why can't we... Why, why, why can't we have jobs? Why can't we build shit in America? Remember, built in America was a was a, a, a staple. I mean, buy American made. What happened to that? People stopped buying American made when they find out what they bought in America that was made in America was made in China. I worked at a company where we made clipboards, polyurethane clipboards. Clipboards were made, manufactured, everything right here in the United States of America shipped to China, labeled made in China, and shipped back to America. Where's the logic in that? It was all the parts. Did, did, did the parts come from China? It was assembled in America. The polyurethane was cut in America. Did, 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 did the polyurethane plastic or whatever the hell that was, did that come from China? What came from China when I was building those clipboards for that company? nothing but it was made in China hmm I don't know I don't know how that works I don't I don't know how it works when these auto companies auto dealerships are going out of business because of a, a product that's not reliable that we gotta bail them out but when I had my little DJ business and I was going under nobody gave me a bailout plan to buy new records or new equipment nobody did that shit for me you know when my bank account gets low uh, and I'm overdraft the bank charges me now when the bank is overdraft why is it that my taxpayer dollars have to bail the bank out it's fucking bullshit um, for us to be Americans we must be the dumbest people on the fucking planet and if you want to challenge me on that you look at the America that we have you look at the America that we were promised you look at the America our forefathers came from, and you look at the America we actually habitate. The America we have is the most fucked up America out of all. Yeah, this one group had slavery. Yeah, this one group had uh, equal rights. Yeah, in this group we in, we just get fucked. We don't care. You know what we have? We got pop culture. 
We have no reason to fight, no reason to to step up and stand up for ourselves. We have no reason to want any more than the pop culture, which is shoved down our throats with a silver spoon. You can have Britney Spears go on a drug-induced haze, flip out and shit, and it's news. You get Oscar Grant killed in Oakland, coming from a party, and it's protests. Oh, look at the angry protesters because a young man got killed, shot in the back, face down, by the people who are sent to protect him. Where's the lie? What, what for? You know, we sit here and bitch and complain and cry about everything around us, everything that remotely affects us in any way, shape, or form. And yet we do nothing to those people who make these things happen. But hey, we can all sit back and vote that hey, you get on the cell phone and drive, it's dangerous. That can become law, catch you. That's something else you got to pay for. Everything in America is slave driven because you got to be a slave to make it in America. You have to slave, pimp, hoe. You got to, you put it all on the line. You got to bend over and take it to be an American. And people don't understand that shit. America, greatest place on earth. They got Hollywood. They got this. They got that. America's gone broke from the inside out. Yet and still, President Obama wants to still give those people an opportunity to run us into the ground with more frivolous debts more frivolous interest rates I could live a million years and always see the same thing happen over and over and over and over and over if we allow ourselves to be dumbed down we will stay dumbed down when we have kids they will be born dumb so you just got to look at the big picture and you got to be cool and you got to be respectful and you got to not have shit flying your hat but now you got to be real and then you have to figure out what for why why can you see that I don't know if you can see it but it's the coldest room in the house Oh, let's see if I got some hot breath going. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> what for? Why should we go to work? Why should we even begin to... If we owe taxes this year, we shouldn't even pay taxes. Didn't your, didn't your taxpayer dollars already go to the government? You know? When you get your $200 stimulus package, what's that going to do? If you got cable and the internet and a phone, $200, come on. You're going to need another $30 to pay those three bills. America's done. What's up, boy? Hmm? And I also finished this last video up and look for that tape. Can't find the tape. We need, we need to, to fix that thing. Well, if you can't do it, just let me know and I'll call somebody. You call somebody, we wasted money. I'm going to find one or two self-tapping screws and screw that piece in the wall so it don't fall. And then the rest will be easy with the duct tape. I know. It's tough, man. You people do not understand how tough it is to be an American. For you people overseas who may be watching this video, do not pack your bags to run over here for this special privileged life that you see on TV. Oh. And what you see on TV is not a reflection of America. Because the shows you might be watching might be having happy Americans in it. Or the shows you may be... Yes, sir? Two Which ones? Car. My car keys? Yeah. Where are you going? I need to get um, some of my truck. You wrecked my car and beat your ass. <laughs> okay, I threatened to beat you, but you better not wreck my car. 15 years old drive a car. You better not start that engine. So, um, it's just, I don't know, man. If there's any knowledge or anything in this video, you know what to do. Pass it on. God damn it, he started my car. Don't be easy. Don't be easy. Don't be easy.